superstition, fear, and jealousy drove the Puritans to accuse their friends and relatives of consorting with the devil. Raving around huge bonfires, repeating vindictive chants, they consigned the poor creatures to the flames. The tortured souls cried out in agony as the flames mounted higher and higher. Burn, witch, burn, witch, burn. Officer Houston? Uh, I'm sorry? Texan, pride sticker, it's usually one of those two. Oh, uh, uh, Corpus Christi, actually. Yeah, right on. So this uh, monsoon type shit around here is nothing new. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to bother you. I saw the sticker and I thought maybe... Oh, no, 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 not at all. I'm uh, I'm Lynn, by the way. Paige, Paige Samir. It's good, <laughs> it's good to meet you. Um, yeah, I just moved here. Uh, I, I just moved in with my brother. Oh, you going to school here? Yeah, I just started fall quarter. Um, I've been doing some delivery work on the side and you know, it's interesting. I actually only just today visited campus for the first time. All right, enough fucking around. They found you. Uh, how's that? You're already being followed. Uh, I think maybe you've mixed me up with, uh, somebody else or something. Just listen. They no. found you. Look, again, um, I think you have me confused for somebody else, all right? Um, I, I don't want any trouble. You're already in trouble and I'm trying to get you out of it. Now listen. Hey, Paige. Brian's on the phone for you. how they like it, and that a social narrative has to exist to help keep the help from beheading them. Incentivizing the help to behead each other and making a ton of money from the engagement metrics it generates, that's what cancel culture is. And it reflects the character of the system, capitalism, and is justifying ideology, the market-driven ideas of neoliberalism. Hi, uh, yeah, I'm at 704 Cedar Kinney, Unit B. Can you send somebody out here, please? Yeah, there's a man trespassing um, in our backyard, so... He's out there... Uh, exposing himself? Um, so if you could please just send somebody over here. Uh, no. No, actually, it looks like he just left. He... Yeah, I, I don't know, it, it, it's just a guy, but he's like wearing a, a shitty spirit Halloween mask or something, and, and he's been following me around, actually. And, and now I just saw him out on our back porch, so if you could just send somebody, I... Hello? Hello? Charges of sexual misconduct against 35-year-old high school teacher Maria LaBelle were dismissed in King County Superior Court this week after the Honorable Noah Berlinski ruled the evidence was, at best, anecdotal, and furthermore, that the young boy was, quote, actually, like, totally lucky. LaBelle Emil, did you get my messages? Did you hear what I fucking saw last night? Yeah. And? Did you hear anything? It's better if... It's better if we don't talk about it. What the fuck did you just say? 
everybody knows about it, Lynn. It's just best if we don't talk about it. Sorry, uh, I don't know if you're trying to be funny or what, but uh, I think we should reset because, I don't know, I think something's getting lost in translation here. Some guy fucking followed me from campus, and I caught him jerking off outside our apartment. Why are you more... We don't talk about it. I told you strangers Jesus. don't last long around here. What, you're following me now too? No, I told you I'm trying to Just stay the fuck away from me, okay? I don't know what kind of poly kink shit you two are trying to recruit me into, but I don't want any, all right? And you tell your fucking dom if I see him outside our place again, I'm gonna come out swinging. No, no, it's not like that. Well then what the fuck is going on? Please, I don't have much time to explain. He's not who you think he is. He's not some vagrant or some psych ward escapee or something. Think about it. You called the cops, didn't you? And they didn't do shit, right? How the fuck did you know about that? Because you're not the first and you won't be the last. Well then cut the fucking riddles, okay? Who is he? What's going on? The only way you're gonna survive around here is that you just don't talk about it. Wait, wait, just a second. Just, just tell me one thing, all right? That's not his actual cock, is it? No. Does he even have a, a cock? Yes, he has a cock. Then why... A dildo. You don't get it yet, man. Everything around here, it's, it's synthetic. It's all performative. Even the perverts? Especially the perverts. Your best bet is to bail. Get the fuck out of here while you can. Because no one's going to applaud you and there isn't going to be a book deal. And they're not going to name any hashtags after you. No one wants to help. Wait, hang on. I... I understand, but it's just that every time I check the website and it says that the building is going to be open, I get here and everything is already shut down. Yeah, right, I get it. It's a COVID thing, but I... Because I'm trying to report a sexual predator that I think followed me from this campus. So if you could... Hello? Hello?
Emil? Emil, I think somebody fucked with my car. Did you see anything? No. No, I didn't. I didn't see anything. Maybe... Well, when's the last time that you got it serviced? Like, two months ago. That's not it. It's... I don't know. Somebody fucked with the spark plugs or the engine or something. I... Okay, well, the bus is free now, no. so maybe you can... No, no, no. Okay, listen to me. If I can't drive, I can't do my job. All right? That's my livelihood. It worked fine this morning, and now it doesn't. You're, you're in the living room all day. Are you sure you didn't see anybody fuck with my car? No. Uh, no, I didn't see anything. What's the matter with you, Mill? What's the matter with everybody in this whole fucking city? Lynn, please. What are you all so afraid of? Just don't. Leave it alone. <laughs> Letter Dreyfus? What? Don't talk about it! It's over. He's not going to be bothering us anymore. That... That's great, man. Oh! Things are finally going to be okay, Emil. Nobody has to be afraid anymore. Oh, things are going to be okay. That's awesome. Hey, I'm going to a house show later, if you want to come with me. My buddy's band's playing. They're called the Vampire's Castle. Sure. I uh, guess I better change my shoes first, huh? Oh, shit. 
I almost forgot. I gotta make a phone call real quick. Uh, do you want to just go on ahead and I'll be right behind you? Yeah. Okay, I'll be right back. Hey, friendo! Come in, come in, sit down. Come on in, we just want to touch base on a few things. Lenart Dreyfus, you are Lenart Dreyfus, right? Uh, 704, Slater Kinney, Unit B, something like that? Do you have a gun? What? I said, do you have a fucking <laughs> Come on now, no. buddy. Let's just have a seat over here. Who are you with? I'm not with anybody. What the fuck is this? But what this is, since you asked, is that you've come to our city, demanded emotional labor from our citizens, and now you have inflicted trauma and violence upon a vulnerable member of our community. For this, you have to be held accountable. Around here, we believe in accountability. What? Fucking Trump supporter? I'm not a Trump supporter! <laughs> Look, this is some kind of misunderstanding! Then we need you to be quiet and prove your solidarity by not silencing other voices. Apropos of that, can you give us an account of your whereabouts on January 6, 2021? Emil? Are you still out there, man? Uh, I'm sorry, you're not going to be able to call upon your brother to exonerate you in this case. He's already been held accountable for his offenses and has shown us his contrition. Hey, check this out. I saw him with that problematic cunt, <laughs> and she's probably the one who brought him here. Oh my god. Right, just a quick point of personal privilege. Maybe we should just avoid using gendered slurs. Yes, yes, very good point. Point, point well taken. Uh, and I actually will let it slide in this case, because to be fair, she was problematic. Uh, but on to the issue of accountability. Uh, Mother Maxwell, how do you recommend that we proceed from here? Take his measurements. What, what, eight fucking inches? Seriously? What do you want me to do? It's a supply chain issue. All right, that's enough! What? He's becoming aggressive! Stop it! Hold him down! Hold him down. Stop, stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! No! Get off of me! Thank you.